Hey everybody, what's up? Max here. Welcome back to another episode of the Fall of Light walkthrough. It has been a while for me. I was on a week of vacation and I'm just getting back into it. As you can see, we can level up. But I can't level up because I'm at max health and apparently once you uh once you have full experience then you can't, uh, it won't let you upgrade anymore. So we're just going to be stuck with a, uh, with a full level bar, experience bar, until we die. Um, can we be stealthy about this? You do see that guy up there, right? Yeah, he's walking around. Today what we're going to do is we're going to explore the Guardian of the Water Shards place. It's kind of like the second one, except bigger. Much bigger. Okay, so you got a few guards outside. Ta-da! One more of these guys. And then we have an ice wizard. This guy's a pretty cool, pretty cool enemy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I think, personally. So, here's the entrance to the palace. Let's break these uh, pots in case there's a fragment. Nothing there. Man, I'm wearing new headphones too because my other ones aren't uh, picking up, aren't, uh, aren't putting out sound. Yeah, stairs are broken. This is a nice little entrance, isn't it? Like, uh, you got, like, uh, waterfalls on either side. Snake statues looking as if they're guarding the place. And once we get inside, we have basically water all around us. And we're basically walking on grids. Got him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got uh, two ninja guys over here. I think the idea was to have both of them come after you, but uh, apparently one sees you before the other. Alright. And here we're at a crossroads. The correct way to go in order to progress is straight, but there are lots of uh, little things in this area. Like uh, to the right is a lever that opens a door to somewhere. Um, I don't remember exactly what it is. There's a hammer, bro. There's a lever right here. I don't... This doesn't look like it's trapped. 
Um, so that is obviously somewhere in here. So either way, that lever probably, that lever either gets you closer to, to like further, it helps you progress or it, um, or it, um, pardon, it opens just more secret areas. We're not going to go down just yet. I want to go, I want to go exploring around for a bit. You guys don't have to, but I really just want to show you in depth what's around here. There's another ice wizard. Better that she dies here than, uh... Hey, I killed him, and I got a fragment of Luce at the same time. I just like breaking everything. And if you see one of these things, you know that there's like a trap. So deactivate this. I'm going to leave Ether there for a minute. is here. Ow. Alright, he bled to death. Alright, there's a spear and shield guy. You really can't go wrong with that strong attack. Don't go down that left bridge because there is a sentry eye thing there. Let's put up this. Now... Got him. Is there an ice wizard or something? Yeah, I think there's a nice. No, no, there isn't. There's just that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I healed myself unnecessarily. Alright, now that that eye's broken, we can pass right on through. So basically, don't take that bridge until you deactivate those control stones. Let's turn up the brightness a bit. Alright. 
it is quite difficult to see. Yeah, this would start attacking you if you would uh, if you came up here before you did the control stone. And I like to use these uh, Ice Wizard dudes to cause damage to the guys around him. Like other wizards, he can hurt himself. the exit to this platform right here so if you want some extra stuff definitely come down here that is a hammer bro And his hammer flies away from him. And now we're heading into a room with like uh, three or some odd ninjas. No, it's just two ninjas. Classic. Ninjas always come in pairs. And over here you have a book you can read. After his ascent, Payne attempted to destroy Luce's three gifts, shattering them, but some shards of her divine powers fell to the earth. Fall of Light 6, sir. And uh, up here I didn't get to read this, what does it say? There are two sides of every coin, every reality, light and darkness, truth and lies, reality and falsehood, life and death, and great and small. I don't get what that does, but um, might have something to do with this where the next guy you meet is huge. Are you trying to push me off? I don't know what that power does to him where he like starts to become like icy or something like that. All right. This is a nice little puzzle. Here we have uh, six pillars and each of them you can pull or push respectively. There's one on this side that needs to be pulled, and one on the other side that needs to be pulled. And that will open a door. This has nothing to do with progressing with the uh, Guardian's Palace, but uh, it'll get you a... It'll get you a... Pardon. It'll get you an Amulet of Shadows upgrade. My tongue is getting tied up. I tell you, game tied up. I hope it was these two. Yep. So that is right on right north of the arena where we'll teleport to after defeating the guardian. But we can't. We don't have time to get an amulet of shadows upgrade. Like as we're trying to save ether, so if I die, I'll head right up to that. Might as well leave, like, I might as well take ether, bring her back a little bit more into the, uh, bring her back into the, um, thing a little bit more. Leave her there, and then... I'll leave her there until I get things settled with the uh, with the rest of the Guardian's Palace.
So where you want to go to progress is not there. Ow. You'll find this over here. You can't cross. It looks like you can cross over there, but you can't right now. That's what that middle part, that's what that middle path is. We're going to go down that path and pull a lever that releases a bridge to cross from that point to the next area. So I think I know what I can do. I can leave Ether like right right here, and then fall off the bridge, die, Ether's just going to stay there, and then I'll run past all the enemies to get to the next. Let's get that Amulet of Shadows upgrade first. That way you guys know where it is, because I don't think I have that area on camera. So you just have to come up north, due north, and right there is right there is the arena. So all you have to do now is, yeah, you can even see the entrance to the to the area we just opened over there. So let's hurry up and get in this place. I said let's hurry. Thank you. And it's called the Forgotten Secret. There's a fragment of Luce here. So there are two ninjas right behind these walls and one of the Lancies. But I just like to do, I just like to get the amulet and then break all the stuff in here. We don't really need anything else from in here because I got the fragment. I've got the amulet of shadows upgrade. So there's the uh, there's the Amulet of Shadows upgrade. I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut off this episode for now, and then we'll take that middle path next time. So hopefully, hopefully you found that helpful. Please enjoy that extra heal that you have now, and uh, I'll see you in my next episode. Bye bye.